Okay, so this is the ANET A8 3D printer I got off of GearBest on a flash sale. This was early June 2017, if anybody's keeping track. I don't know what version this is, um, but yeah, June 2017. So if you ordered after that, there's a pretty good chance this is the same version as that. So um, everything's good. Stepper motors running in sync. Everything's great. And then... Um, I get a message. So as you can see, it shows 22.5 and 51 degrees um, C for the hotbed. And then it goes to DEF and DEF for both temperatures on the extruder as well as the hotbed. So after a bunch of research, this suggests that if you're seeing this message that you have a thermistor out. And the thermistor from either the hotbed or the extruder could be faulty. And if that's the case, you'll see the message DEF on both, no matter what. So if one is bad, both are bad. So the first thing to do if you get this message is that you want to um, solder on your connections on your hotbed. And make sure that your JST connectors that plug in from your extruder thermistor and your hotbed thermistor into your main board. These are called JST connectors. They're three pin. Um, they only use the outside two pins. But you want to make sure that those are actually mating well with the JST plugs in the main board. Because those two problems generally will correct 75% of the DEF readings. So make sure those are tight and then make sure that your hotbed wires are soldered directly to your hotbed. So then you want to check your thermistor. If both of those things happen and you're still getting the DEF response on the LCD, you want to make sure that your thermistors are not faulty. And to do that, we're going to use a multimeter and any multimeter with ohms will work for this. And these thermistors are 100K ohms NTC thermistors. So that means at a resting um, room temperature, they have 100K ohms as a middle ground. So 20 degrees C, about 72.6 degrees Fahrenheit or so. Um, they're going to be at about 100K ohms. And then the computer within the board reads the differences if it gets hotter, then that resistance decreases. So the thermistor itself is just a resistor. And as it, it changes in temperature, the resistance between both leads either gets um, higher resistance if it gets colder or lower resistance if it gets warmer. So what we're going to do is measure resistance with a multimeter. And because it's 100K, we're going to go to the 200K selection on the multimeter. And we're going to put, just for an example, you can see on the multimeter that it's at 1 right now. Just explain, just saying that there's no resistance between these two portions. But if you connect both these bare metals, you'll get 0. Because there's no resistance for that current to go through these two pieces of metal. So it's 0 resistance. So if this thermistor is working, when we put the leads of the multimeter onto the leads of the thermistor, we should see 100K. And what we're seeing is 6.6 .6 on the hotbed thermistor. So that would indicate that we're, we are about 20 times hotter than room temperature right now, if it was a pure exponential curve which is very obviously not the case. So then check other portions of your thermistor. So we're still at six, no matter where I go here, 6.6 .6 before the solder points, before or after the solder points seems to be irrelevant. So this is only reading 6.6. .6. For a comparison, this is the extruder thermistor JST connector. All right, so when I put it in there, we get a reading of about 
0.9. So that's really close to the 100K, and we know that our extruder thermistor is actually functioning correctly, and our hotbed is giving us the DEF designation. So when you're replacing these, it's important to note that this hotbed is actually similar to a power distribution board. It has these ridges underneath, which are conductive plates, I don't know, probably copper, underneath this label. And these run out to these solder points. So that's how the thermistor is connected to here. So when you do replace the thermistor, you can go straight into that, no problem. There is a strong epoxy in here, so you're going to have to do a little bit of messing around to change that around. But changing that thermistor should solve your problem. As long as you're having current traveling from these two solder points to the top. So you can check that with your own meter as well. Make sure that you're reading zero. And you're good to go. That means it's traveling up to there. So then we know that the thermistor is a problem and we're going to check it out. Hopefully this helps somebody out.